Hey guys, welcome all to Nerd Strategy. My name is Scott, and if you've been subscribed to this channel for a very long time, you know that I actually dabbled around with NES Maker when it first came out. It was rough. They've made tons of improvements to this. A lot of people have been telling me, hey, just get it done, just do it, just do it. Go revisit it, go check it out. So, with that being said, here's the new game I'm working on in NES Maker. No, that was a long intro, and I appreciate you guys sticking around for that. But I wanted to show you, I have only worked on this in the past 24 hours. And there is a lot of work I'm going to be doing to this. The game mechanics, I'm going to be messing around with everything. So, in case you guys are wondering, what is this game? Well, this is going to be an NES horror game. Um, I started off with a little camp counselor dude. He works inside of a mall that's, you know, malls are dead. They're abandoned. There's nothing going on there. And as you guys can see, there's like ghosts and other ghoulish things that pop up in here. Um, you know, like zombies. That's right. I got zombies. I got zombies right there. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> uh, I like the zombie because he kind of drools a little bit. It's hard to see, but he drools. And he commits suicide. But, yeah. I mean, I made a little basic little thing right now that I'm going to be working a ton on. Now, it does have Mario physics, but I'm changing that completely. Um, gonna make it way more survivor horror than it already is. Uh, I'm gonna add a weapon system where you're gonna need to actually collect. Get over here, ghost. Ah, he killed me. I'll show you. Alright. So you gotta collect those little M things. Those are supposed to be kind of like merit badges or whatnot. You know, little badges you get for doing stuff, and he's sticking there. It's a little problem with these old NES games. They always had a gap in between ladders for that stuff. And anyway, back to point. Uh, I'm going to have him have like a little bat or something. So that way he gets those points, but then he's able to use his bat that will actually damage the enemies. And I got tons of ideas for this. I got like an idea for a food court like area. Um, going around through like a clothing type, aisle type thing. Just exploring the mall in general. In case you guys are wondering the timetable on this. Uh, I'm going to aim for February next year. Because I still got to do some implementations, you know. Like make the music for it, which you have to use a program called Family Tracker to do. I don't know. Stuff that works for it. I'm rambling now. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later.